Hi everyone, uh, this is Satish Kumar, application engineer here, Aegis India. So for, for the next few minutes, I'm going to take you through about uh, how SolidWorks Treehouse will allow you to make creating and managing your complex product structures in a very simple way. So let's start creating it. Uh, so SolidWorks Treehouse, uh, the user interface is very simple and intuitive for the user uh, who, who's uh, going to create a structure of their entire assembly before they start making their designs. So we can utilize this tool uh, also for our uh, already created models as well. So when we simply drag and drop our uh, SOLIDWORKS model into this treehouse assembly, so you can get a complete visualization of the product structures and also with its relevant information in a single window. So you can get a complete visualization of your uh, entire assembly. So what are all the components which is available and uh, under which sub assembly the components will be available. So the clear cut information of your entire assembly will be available on a single screen. So where you can also uh, get leverage to access uh, the relevant information of the specific component as well. So you can also view uh, the specific custom properties of each component assemblies and sub assemblies as well. So this will uh, be helpful to understand the specific component and its uh, relevant informations like weight description and other informations as well so you can also move pan and uh, zoom into any specific component to uh, make visualize it even more clear than ever so once after we done this uh, we can we can also uh, view it in a list view so which allows us to uh, get uh, the visualization of uh, the entire assembly structure in a, in a details view so it also contains other relevant informations uh, the custom properties and other informations which we needed so we can also export uh, this entire list into an excel uh, sheet uh, so where we can get leverage all these assembly components along with the uh, thumbnail view of a specific component and assembly as well so it also include all the relevant informations uh, as, as well as uh, the other technical informations which we already entered uh, while creating this entire uh, model as well so we can simply save it as an excel file and uh, it's also easily collaborate uh, with our other team members also as well so maybe uh, we can we can also able to print uh, this uh, specific uh, structure to a pdf as well uh, so where we can able to simply publish it as a pdf uh, to or uh, to make it easily share with anyone else or uh, through mail or through uh, any social uh, networks So we can also use uh, this to build a complete product structures and also we can name it as uh, the terminology which we need to provide in our real time product creation and also along with that we can we can add some uh, any other informations or uh, known informations in this time itself. So it, it may be uh, the description and the part uh, relevant details like uh, the weight of the component and uh, the part number revisions and other custom properties also whatever informations we needed that information also we can we can add it over to this uh, skeleton part itself so let me add uh, some of the sub assemblies under this main assembly uh, so I, I can also add uh, some of uh, the uh, components under this sub assembly I can uh, rename on the each uh, sub assembly as like the terminology which I am going to follow in my real time scenario so the complete information about uh, assembly structure will be clearly uh, leveraged with the, with the help of this treehouse applications uh, before you start uh, creating your designs so let me add uh, some of of the parts over to the sub assembly so wherever i needed and also since uh, this is a new uh, creation uh, so i can uh, also add uh, for whichever part and assemblies i needed a drawing i can also add a drawing along with the necessary parts and assemblies so simply you can uh, get a complete visualization of uh, the assembly structure what you are going to create so apart from this uh, so it, it is not only capable to uh, visualize uh, the complete assembly structure you can you can also able to publish uh, this as a solidworks document so simply you can uh, provide the location where you need to save all these files and also uh, you can simply uh, publish uh, this to a solidworks document so once at the moment uh, when I start publishing it, it automatically creates each component uh, in, inside the SOLIDWORKS, uh, maybe uh, the main assembly, sub assembly and the each parts will be uh, 
created as like the uh, assembly hierarchy what we are seeing in this uh, treehouse display so once after uh, the entire uh, assembly and the relevant components uh, is uh, created we can also uh, visualize uh, the complete assembly structure and also the components created in the specified folder so let me open uh, the folder which i provided uh, so where you can see all the relevant components uh, drawings assembly uh, gets created with all its uh, physical i mean informations like custom properties and other uh, informations we already provided so i can also export uh, this as a pdf uh, so it's like i said previously so where uh, you can get all the uh, flowchart of uh, this complete uh, assembly structure in a simple format and also it is easily collaborable with your uh, team members also as well as uh, other other members who wants to see this assembly structure as well so uh, this is the power of solidworks treehouse so with the help of this application you can uh, make creating and managing your complex product structures in a very simple and easy way uh, to explore and uh, to share your uh, assembly structure ideas in a reality.